R. Kelly, besides the problems that he has in the Chicago judicial system, he now has more issues with the federal government and with the NYPD. Hey, Rob it. The jig might be up. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, R. Kelly has been arrested in Chicago on federal child pornography charges, and he's currently facing a New York City indictment. So, just to let everybody in for the people who don't know about what was going on just so what you need to know um r kelly has been arrested in chicago on federal sex crimes charges according to two law enforcement officials also the 52 year old was arrested by the nypd detectives and homeland security investigation agents on sex crimes charges that's what and also the r&b star has been the subject of many different sexual abuse allegations for nearly two decades with some alleged acts dating back to the 1998. So just so we could be clear about a couple of things. Homeland Security is involved, right? Homeland Security deals with sex trafficking. For everybody that don't know, one of the things that Homeland Security deals with is sex trafficking. Now, with that being said, he was arrested by NYPD detectives. So let's say real quick, if you're uh, committed a crime in New York City and they want to go get you and you're in another state, one of the ways that they could do that is they could have the law enforcement in that state arrest you. Or if this particular investigation works in conjunction with another organization, like a federal organization, they can go all together and pick you up because you, you can't just arrest a guy. If you're a police officer in New York City, you just can't go to Chicago and start arresting fools. That's not how it works. It's jurisdiction. Anyway, so first, shout out to um, News 4 New York. I believe that's NBC. And uh, I'm reading this article right here by Jonathan Deist. And it goes on to say that um, R. Kelly is indicted in New York City on federal kidnapping. I just said that too, didn't I? Um, because sex trafficking is basically kidnapping, racketeering, and child sex charges. So basically, they're trying to say that he was kidnapping. For everybody that don't know, you could get charged with kidnapping if you take a child from one state to another state. That could be charged as kidnapping. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm not sure how they're charging him with kidnapping, but I'm thinking that that might have something to do with it. And they're saying racketeering charges. Um, we all know that R. Kelly has money that he has hidden. At this point, it should be obvious. Because how many... How he get arrested and he got daycare workers bailing him out? <laughs> Come on, man. We not doing that. So, um, also, the child sex charges, which he has been charged with previously. And they're probably working in conjunction with the kidnapping charges. Okay, so singer R. Kelly was arrested on federal sex charges Thursday night. Nearly five months after he was released on bail for additional sex abuse charges brought by Illinois prosecutors. A spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's Office said. Um, okay, so keep going. The 52-year-old was arrested in Chicago by Homeland Security investigative Asian agents and NYPD Public Safety Task Force. Officials said, News 4, pardon me, officials told News 4, R. Kelly had stepped out for a smoke and to walk his dog when he was taken into custody. They were sitting, I'm not laughing at shit because it's funny, I'm laughing because that sounds like something that they're going to do. They're sitting around waiting for the opportunity to arrest them. So, um, just so we can be clear on something. R. Kelly is an individual that absolutely insulates himself 
from everyone. There's people who have been on tour with him, been on tour with him, and said that when R. Kelly is walking down the hall of the hotel, no one is allowed to be in the hallway. Everybody else has to go inside of their rooms until he passes. There's people that said that, you know, when you go to do your mic check and your sound checks and everything like that, R. Kelly, you're never allowed to watch R. Kelly practice or, 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 or you know, get his routine or whatever the heck together. You're never allowed to be there. You are not allowed to, to fraternize with R. Kelly on any level. So that's what a lot of artists, well, a couple of artists have come out and say. Let me not say a lot. I've just not heard any different ever. But a couple of artists has come out and said this. Anyway, uh, the 52-year-old was arrested in Chicago by Homeland Security investigative agents, agents and new and NYPD Public Safety Task Force officials told News 4 R. Kelly has stepped out for a smoke and to walk his dog when he was taken into custody at 7 p.m. local time, a law enforcement source familiar with the case said. He had been held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago, according to the Federal B Prisons Bureau website. Steve Greenberg, an attorney for Kelly, confirmed Thursday's arrest, adding the agents were courteous and professional, as was Mr. Kelly. He knew he was going to get arrested sooner or later. Um, he'd been bailed out twice, right? And <laughs> this is, I told y'all this the last time they arrested him, he bailed out. I said, look, man. These people that are saying that they're bailing R. Kelly out, they're not bailing R. Kelly out. That's really just R. Kelly's money, and he's saying that people are bailing him out because this money is not money that he is supposed to have access to. So what I'm looking for here is, I'm telling you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for them to give him another bail, and then miraculously, some, you know, I don't know, a, a crossing walker, a walking guard, <laughs> a cross walking guard, I don't know what you call those guys. A walking cross guard? Anyway, those people that they stand next to schools and when the kids come, they say stop to the cars. Those guys, I look for one of those guys to bail him out this time. It's going to be like 250000 <laughs> And they're going to bail out R. Kelly, a cross walking guard. Could somebody tell me what the hell these people games are called? Shout out to them, though. That's a real shout out because... Honestly, you, you serve a great purpose. I just have no idea what to call your job. So, somebody, please, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what you call these guys. Anyway, the conduct, ele they, um, the conduct alleged appears to largely... Oh, oh, pardon me. The conduct alleged appears to be largely the same as the conduct previously alleges... Of, I don't even understand. Who wrote this sentence? Oh, no. Oh, no. A lawyer said this. The sentence I'm about to read, so it's not going to make any sense to me and you, but it's going to make 100% sense to other people. So I'm going to read it verbatim like I've been reading everything else. The conduct alleged appears to largely be the same as the conduct previously alleges against Mr. Kelly in the current state indictment and his former state charges that he was acquitted of, Greenberg said. Most, if not all of the conduct alleged is decades old. I don't know what the fuck, yo. Part of my language. Sorry about that. There are separate federal indictments found in both Chicago and Brooklyn. And no victim overlap in the cases, attorney said. Authority said. Um, so, look, they got an indictment unsealed in the Eastern District, New York. I'll check out the indictment at some point. I'll probably make another video on it. Um, but yeah, R. Kelly has been arrested and it's, it, it, now he's federal charges now. Okay. So there's a couple of things that I said before in previous R. Kelly videos. One of the things that I said was he's going to keep bailing out. He's not supposed to have no money. So they're going to have to keep randomly coming up with random people. That's going to be bailing them out. I don't know how they're going to keep doing that. I'm pretty sure at this point that they're literally arresting him with probable cause. They're, they're arresting him with probable cause. Let's not get this confused, but they're arresting him, right? And they're trying to track the money that he's bailing out with at this point because they know he's not going to stay locked up. They know that he is not going to stay locked up. They know that if they give him bail, he's going to figure out a way to bail out. Period. And then they're going to be able to track that money. You see what they said? Racketeering. Okay? 
racketeering. I'm telling you, they're trying to track that guy's money. They're trying to find out where his bread is at because he's been hiding it for all of these years. I don't think the government believes he's as broke. Well, he's not broke, obviously. He's R. Kelly. But I believe that the government believes that he has more money than he's claiming to have. That's my point. Anyway, um, <clears throat> besides all of that, <clears throat> he's obviously got problems in, Ch in Chicago. Now he has problems in New York. And if there's any police attorneys or law that you don't want to have to deal with it is the new york prison system you don't want to have to deal with these guys <laughs> you don't want to have to deal with their lawyers you don't want to have to deal with their judges you don't want to have to deal with their police officers and right now R. kelly's basically fighting against the chicago police and law and, and everything over there and new york's police and law and everything over here and the federal and, and so i don't know what's gonna happen anyway so let me know what y'all guys think about all of this stuff maybe i'll drop another videos talking less about the specifics of the case and more about my opinion on it and my opinion is r kelly you effed up the first people who accused you of whatever they accused you of you should not have went so hard because you made other people want to come out and tell their story because they felt so disrespected and well at the end of the day anybody that is anybody that has done what r kelly is being accused of doing does need to have their day in court and anybody that has absolutely done what they're accusing r kelly of doing needs to be locked up that's just it that's just all can't put it no other way and that's my opinion if you don't like it that's up to you you can think that it's okay to do what r kelly is being accused of doing anyway leave it down below i want to know what you guys think about this video think about the whole r kelly situation in general like comment subscribe join the notification game Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.